Welcome to video four, the third reason that businesses get into trouble. My name is Casey Truby. I'm a serial business owner. I own several companies. And what I would like to share with you today is the opportunity for buying the companies that are making mistakes. Step in, isolate, name the mistakes, and once you name them, you can fix them. And that means the company may go from break even or losing money right into profitability almost immediately. This is far easier than anyone believes. So here's mistake number three. We spend too much time on the wrong thing. Now I'm talking about the owners or the team managers especially. Everyone below managers, they usually work on what they're told to do, but the owners and the managers work on the wrong thing. I'll give you an example. I was in an alternator repair shop in the southwest United States a few months ago and the owner was having a difficult time he just could not figure out how to turn the business around how to make any money and I asked him well what do you do all day and he by the time he got done describing it I felt like he was a chicken running around this head cut off I went and looked at his office and I immediately knew he's constantly busy and then when I asked him what's the most important thing you could work on he says going out and talking to my commercial accounts to get more work from them. So that's the number one thing you could do to turn around sales. And I'm here to talk to you about an internet marketing program. And my question to you is, why are you gonna mess with internet marketing when you already know the number one thing you can do is to get out of this office and go see people. You don't need an internet marketing system. You need to do the one thing you know that's gonna work. But it happens to every business. Recently, I bought a, a home healthcare company. And now a good client in this business will pay us three to $10,000 a month to send somebody out to take care of them. But do you know that when I got in there, I found that 80% of the entire company was focused on government reimbursed work. And that's work that only pays less than $15 an hour. Could you imagine sending a plumber out to your house for $15 an hour or a painter? I mean, it's just impossible. Well, it's impossible for us to make money at that also. We're working on the wrong thing. And no one has ever set the entire team down and said, let's work on the things we make money at. You see, in business, there are just a few small tasks that the owners and the key managers can do every day that actually drives money to the bottom line. Now, they could do those good tasks all day long, but they don't because they get sucked up into the multitude of tasks that realistically just turn out to be busy work. It makes us feel important because we're so busy, but it's not really adding anything to the bottom line. It's like going into the office in the morning. We know we're going to work 10 hours today. Two hours, we actually do something for the company that works. And then eight hours, we're running around putting out fires and doing work that has low emotional risk. Now, that's real important. Low emotional risk uh, is when you're doing things that it's simple, you understand, you know how to do it, but it's not the job that's going to drive profit. When I go into a business and I see that it's operated like this and there's chaos and I want this business because I can turn this company around so fast. If I walk in and that's what I see in the office, I'll tell you exactly the first things I do. I don't go in and increase sales. I take the company paperless and then I write flowcharts and standardize everything in the operation. And then I go back to the manager and I say, okay, here are the only three things you're going to do. And in some cases, I'm going to the partner because whenever I make an acquisition, I always bring somebody in to do an earn out or to share in the profit, somebody that's actually going to be the boots on the ground to run the business. And I tell the boots on the ground, run the business individual, you've got three jobs, three things that you should do in this business every day. Go out and find one good new customer. Nobody's better at the big deals than the owner of the business. So I want you to go out and find one good new customer. And once you get that done, I don't care if it takes one hour, two hours, eight, six hours, when you get that job done, then you can go to job number two and then I want you to develop and improve one relationship with your team or with an old customer or with a vendor. Explain to them what your goals are, what your vision is, so that you're on a shared uh, goal, you're on a shared path and everybody knows exactly what you expect. And if you get that done, then you can go to job number three and that means write a system or a process on something you see that's causing chaos today in the business, write the instructions on how to get that done so that your team can deliver better client experience. Now, 
this has worked for me. I'm able to own multiple companies, every one of them with a partner. Most of them send me dividend checks every month. I've got a couple that don't, but almost everything works. But I'll tell you, we know of people that do this very well. Richard Branson runs 1,150 companies, and he doesn't even have a desk. He spends his entire day on the phone talking to customers, talking to his team managers, talking to his employees and his vendors so that they understand what he wants to do with this business. I'm still stuck at my desk, but at least I'm still, I'm in the pajama kid. <laughs> well, so if we run into a business that is chaotic and the owner is spinning around like they're standing on a lazy Susan, barking at everybody, that's a great opportunity to grab that place because you can establish systems and processes in that business, get the management team focused on the one thing that drives the most net profit and cut everything else to the bone and let it go. On our next video, we're going to talk about how we fail to hire talent and then delegate everything that possible. Thank you.